So AI isn't just a buzzword anymore. I've realized with AI, there's actually so much you can do. You can use it to save time and make money. And those two things for me are what make it so valuable. It's become a tool that for a lot of people has reshaped how they work, how they create, how they earn, learn, just all that sort of stuff. I feel as though 2024 was the year that everyone was experimenting with AI tools, but 2025 has become the year where people are actually legitimately using AI tools to make money, including myself. And the best part is you don't need to be a tech genius or have a big following or anything like that to get started. I think the most important thing that anyone needs really is just curiosity and a bit of willingness, a bit of perseverance to learn anything and make anything with AI. So in this video, I wanted to cover a few simple and realistic ways that you can use AI to help you make money and save time. First up is editing short form video using AI. Naturally, short form video, there is a huge demand. Everyone wants to make short form video business, especially want to make short form video about their products and services. But manually editing them takes a lot of time and a lot of know-how. And you know, if you're not into video editing, you're just not going to enjoy it. AI tools like Opus Clip and Reclips AI pull highlights from long form videos and format them for TikToks, Reels and Shorts. This is perfect if you want to offer a simple service to creators or businesses, primarily businesses though, I'd say, because businesses usually have a lot more money to spend. I know firsthand how time consuming it is to make short form content. So even for me, I hand it out to other people to do it for me. I've had various short form editors get in touch with me and I've hired a few of them as well to make short form content for me. And I feel like that is the best way to just get in contact with people. Like I said, it doesn't just have to be creators, YouTubers, just like myself. It can be proper businesses. Tell them, hey, I can make short form content for you. But the biggest mistake I see a lot of people make is that they just say that they can make short form content for a brand or for a company or whatever, but they don't actually show what they can do for the brand or for the company. Now, it's nice seeing a portfolio it's nice seeing what a person can do, but the people who have caught my interest the most are the ones who have taken my current content and made a short form video or some other sort of edit out of what I already have, because then it shows me what they can do with what's already out there. And that is the best way to get your foot into the door. Next up is using AI to generate artwork. So naturally, this is a controversial one and I completely get it. Artists don't like AI sort of generators copying their artwork. But I do think when you use it in the right way, it can be useful, it can be beneficial. And it's a good way to, to create products, to enhance your business, to create stuff for your business, whatever it might be. I have used AI tools. I use specifically, I think it was Mid Journey to create a wallpaper pack. That wallpaper pack is my acrylic paint wallpaper pack. So it's a $14 wallpaper pack. And as the name suggests, I just basically um, put in a command in mid journey to help me come up with some wallpapers that look like acrylic paint. And it did a really good job. I love these wallpapers. I think the style of them look fantastic and they've done really well. They've done so well that this wallpaper pack, when I look at the stats for it, has made so far $31,000. $31,000 from a wallpaper pack. Like that is insane. That's just outrageous, really. Even I'm blown away that it's made that much money. But clearly, because no one had really generated something like this before. Now, acrylic paint isn't anything new. You can buy acrylic paint at your local sort of art store or whatever and start putting it down onto a canvas and whatever. I could have done that, but it's very messy. Um, and I don't have the space to do that sort of thing. So I just thought to myself, okay, let's see what AI can produce. And it did a good job. I feel like something like this is quite abstract, quite normal. It's not necessarily copying someone's specific style of artwork. Um, you know, I'm not copying a, a big artist or anything like that. But I do think when it comes to using something like this for AI, like it just makes a lot of sense. And here is actual proof of it working, of me using it to make a product, a digital product specifically, and make $31,000. You can take this a step further by using it for all sorts of things. I've seen people use AI to generate um, concepts for interior design. So there are a bunch of AI tools out there that will help you produce a interior design concept for whatever room you have. You can also do the same for posters. I've seen a lot of people make fully fledged poster companies, drop shipping sort of poster companies where they've used AI to make the artwork, they've put it on a poster, something quite unique that someone else hasn't made and then they're selling it online and they're making thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars doing it. I think using AI 
to make art in specific ways can be really useful and really powerful. Where I feel like it's controversial is when it starts copying or you're using it to copy a specific style. Next up is using AI to build your own e-commerce store. So naturally building an e-commerce store it is just very much a grind. It's not that fun. It can take a lot of time. You have to spend hours researching products, writing descriptions, finding suppliers, learning Shopify, figuring out how to manage fulfillment, shipping, customer service. There's just so much like it's a lot of work, but not anymore. Thanks to AI, you can now launch a fully functional online store in just a few minutes, even if you've never really done it before. And that's exactly what today's sponsor, Build Your Store AI, is designed to help you do. This platform takes care of everything from choosing your products to writing the copy and even handling backend logistics, all powered by AI. So step one, you have to pick a niche and let the AI do the setup. Once you land on Build Your Store AI, it will ask you a few short questions that will help you build your store. It will ask you what kind of products you're interested in selling, what kind of customers do you want to target? And what is the sort of theme and aesthetic that you'd like to go for for your store? And then in less than two minutes, Build Your Store will generate a fully designed Shopify store for you. No need to mess around with code, themes, or templates. It just does it for you. It's genuinely plug and play. Step two is getting the AI created products that are ready to sell. Because you don't want your store to be an empty shell, Build Your Store AI will connect to AutoDS, their other platform, which is a powerful backend system that uses AI to pull in the best selling products based on real world data and trends. These aren't random guesses, by the way. These are proven items in your chosen niche with built-in demand. Each product comes with professional images, pre-written descriptions, and if you wish to tweak them, you can just hit a button inside AutoDS and let the AI rewrite it for you. Step three is letting the automation handle the rest. So one of the biggest time wasters in e-commerce is fulfillment. But with Build Your Store and AutoDS, it's all hands off. Orders are sold automatically, Pricing is updated in real time. Shipping and tracking is handled for you and returns are managed for you as well. So you don't need to handle any of that stress. You can even turn on dynamic pricing so your margins are always protected. This makes the whole operation scalable from day one. So you can be focused on creating content, running ads, building your store, and just not worrying about any other sort of backend stuff. Step four is making it your own. So the store isn't stuck with the default branding. You can upload your own logo, choose your own colors and fonts and add custom print on demand products. So even though the AI builds it, it still feels like your own brand. You're not just stuck with some generic drop shipping setup. And then step five is publishing your store and promoting it. So once you're happy with your store, and you've connected it to your Shopify account, you can hit publish. From there, you can start promoting it on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, just whatever platform, whatever marketing techniques you wanna use. And build your store AI and AutoDS handle everything behind the scenes for you. Why this works is that it takes out a lot of the grind of building your own e-commerce store from scratch. A lot of this is just using AI to do it all for you. What used to take weeks can now just take a few minutes. You can build, test, scale without needing a team or a tech background. This is one of the easiest and most efficient ways to start an online business. If you want to try it out, they're offering a 30 day trial for a dollar, which is just ridiculously cheap. So you can really test it out, set everything up before you make any big upfront commitments. So next up is automated YouTube channels with AI. There is this misconception of that you always need to have your face on camera to have a YouTube channel. Now, of course, I'm sure that can help and stuff, but a lot of people aren't comfortable in putting their face in front of camera. Like that's just the way it is. But using tools for video generation, for music and stuff like that, you can use Sora for video generation, Suno for music, and then Eleven Labs for voiceover. You can build fully AI generated YouTube channels covering just pretty much any topic that you're interested in. And I think that's what actually is gonna be your USP. There's actually so many AI tools to help you make YouTube videos. The USP is what are you gonna make videos about? So some people are making videos like documentary videos um, covering a specific topic. Some people are doing news and stuff. Some people are doing product reviews. There's just so many different ways you can do it, but I think that is really what's the USP. One example of a faceless channel is What Is Blank. They basically just post AI generated lo-fi music for background listening. Really as simple as that. This channel gets millions of views. Its most popular video has 2.4 million views, which is just crazy. If people are coming back to sort of listen to these videos, watch these videos, they're naturally gonna be recommended more to other people as well. So this can compound over time, as long as of course you're making good quality content that people want to click on, listen to, watch, or whatever it might be. And then finally is using AI tools or no code tools, which are not specifically AI tools, but they are pretty close because obviously you don't really need to learn code. So I've been using a lot of these 
especially over the last year to help me just make websites and stuff like that. Um, you have tools like Framer, Lovable, Replit. I've been using these tools to make websites and, and just random things, landing pages and whatever else it might be. Like it's crazy what you can build with these tools. So I have recently been remaking my store. Store.olio.com is actually going to now be platsupply.com. And the idea here is that I want to transform my store into more of a marketplace. The only thing is I have very limited coding knowledge. Like I know basic markup, HTML, CSS, and some PHP and JavaScript, but if you ask me to code something from scratch, yeah, that's never happening. I would never be able to do that. But I do have good design skills, I like to think anyway. What I've done is I have designed this in Figma. I have sort of come up with a design and then I've used um, sort of WordPress as my backend, which is just silly, but I'm familiar with WordPress and I'm familiar with PHP, so it makes the most sense as my backend. But the front end is all just using no code tools and AI. So for example, this grid that you see here, where you, see the, where you see the grid of wallpapers and you see the sort of sell tag and the logic of showing eight products and stuff. That is all AI. I've just used an AI code editor and I've put in there, hey, can you build me a loop of my products? That also shows the thumbnails, the title, the pricing and the sell tag if there is a sale, because obviously you don't want the sell tag to be always showing if there isn't a sale, like that doesn't make any sense. That's where these sorts of AI code editors and stuff can be really, really powerful. And I've seen people make sort of just anything and everything with these sorts of things. People have been making sort of like uh, finance calculators, they've been generating wealth sort of trackers and things like that without having any coding knowledge. And this opens up the possibilities massively for so many people because it makes it so much easier for people who have an idea but they don't have the sort of technical background or the coding knowledge to build something, but they know how it should work. They know what it should have. They wanna build something actually useful. All of these sorts of tools just make it so much easier to build this sort of stuff and make money because my store already generates for me hundreds of thousands of dollars every year. And now I kind of think to myself, okay, how can I expand this to be a marketplace? So the idea is that this place, Plat Supply, people will be able to submit their own products to sell on my website because that gets a lot of traffic already. Um, I can expand the store. I can build more products. I can build out other categories of products. I can implement things like upselling, more checkout customization, email marketing, all these different things that I wasn't able to do before because of AI tools. I think the important thing here is that these aren't just side hustles that you're learning. You can actually learn proper digital skills here to make stuff, to build stuff. And you don't need to be an expert. I'm not really an expert in anything, but I'm willing to learn. And that's the other thing. You also don't need to spend years learning this stuff. You can learn things in a few weeks, in a few months, very, very quickly. As long as you're building stuff, you will be learning. And just with AI now, just making it so much easier to learn stuff, to, to have access to all this knowledge and for it to give you the answers quickly, it is just insane what you can do. I think if you're watching this video and you've gotten to the end, you're actually already ahead of most people. Most people just see AI tools just to sort of do the odd basic task here and there. But I think if you're watching this video, you're already in the mindset of, okay, how can I use AI to help me make money or save time? Because saving time is also technically making money because you can also sell the tools or sort of use it to, to get back time, which is arguably a lot more valuable than money itself. You should also watch this video on how I made $50,000 selling iPhone wallpapers. And you should also watch this video on high income skills worth learning for 2025. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.